everyone, my name is Kristen and today I am making the Camp Half-Blood t-shirt. It's been like a week since I've made the Camp Jupiter one and now I'm making this one because in all honesty I don't want to spend $20 buying a t-shirt. So I don't really know if I have anything else for the introduction. Let's just dive into this I guess. For supplies and everything that I have, I have a million, well three different like Pegasus cutouts for the design um it's not the one that's actually on the t-shirt but that has detail i cannot do details so i'm going to figure out which one of these is the best size and cut the black part out and use that um i have a pencil i have this orange shirt that i got from hobby lobby for like two and a half dollars with i measured this time i figured out where the middle is and stuff all of that's figured out i was smart this time um I have a measuring tape kind of deal, um, black paint, paint brushes, some water, the thing to put my paint on, and this is a design that I am going off of for this t-shirt. Um, I also have a piece of cardboard that I already cut something out for for a different video to use under this t-shirt. Um, so now I'm just gonna cut Figure out which one of these I want to use, cut them out, and get started. Okay, so it's been like half an hour, but the Pegasus is done and it looks so good. Um, I did have to touch up a little bit with this, but I'm very impressed with myself. It looks really good. I also have like little black paint marks, but that's cool. But I actually, well, no, I've got time. I'm going to start kind of planning out the letters. I'll probably start with the Long Island South first because that's just a straight line and hopefully I can do that. But look at that. Okay, so I have to leave in about 10 minutes um, to do some dorm shopping, but here's what we have so far. Look, look at this, look at this. The U is a little big, but you know that's okay. Everything's fine, it's looking so good so far. Now I just have to do the camp half foot up here and I don't think I'll need to do any extra layers because it's looking pretty good, but wow, I'm so happy with how it's turning out so far. All right, so I'm back, did some dorm shopping. I had a good lunch at 2.30 in the afternoon, and now we're getting back to working on this. Ta-da! She is all done! The only thing I need to figure out is how to get rid of these pencil marks. Cause I started this off like too high so it kind of arches but not a lot but I feel like even though you know the writing and painting looks a little off I feel like it goes with the vibe you know but yeah now I just need to give this an hour or so to dry and she's all done I'm so excited I have it on and y'all, it looks so good. Um, like I said, I saw some pencil marks. I'll deal with that later, but oh my God, it looks so good. So this is how it is on. It's centered, it looks so good. I'm like so proud of myself. I am not a very artistic person. Um, I'd say that this and the Jupiter shirt is like the most artistic thing that I've done in my entire life. So, um, Anyone can make these. Actually, I would recommend making a shirt instead of, you know, buying one, but that's just me. And I quickly wanted to mention before the video ends, because I forgot to in the clip I filmed like five minutes ago, um, one, wash your shirt before you paint it. The paint bottle usually says that, but I would recommend washing your shirt first. Second, what was the second thing? Oh yes, um, my Pegasus, I'm still wearing the shirt right now, 
um, is facing the opposite way of the majority of the other shirts that you see on the internet and you can just flip that around easily. Personally, I don't really care. Most of them are, what, whatever way it's facing, it's the other way, but some of them are facing the same way as mine. Whatever you wanna do. Um, I'm gonna end this here. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.